Good morning guys, so excuse the fact that I look like a mess. I look like a mess because I'm going diving today. I filmed a bit of my first and second, but that was in my first week back vlog. I didn't even realise I had those dives on those days, so I didn't get a chance to set a camera up and do the whole process, so there was not really much point in making a video from it. So today, hopefully, I'm gonna get the footage that I wanna get. I'm diving at Pendennis. It's one of the main places that we go diving. As well as that, we go to Porthcarris as well. I've not dived at Porthcarris yet, but apparently it is really, really nice. So it's quarter to nine, and I've got to be at uni for nine. I'm really lucky that it's not too far away from me. I'm obviously gonna have to drive to campus because I've got all of my dive gear and we're going straight to the dive site. Thought I'd quickly tell you guys what I've got in my bag. So I've got two towels. I've got a towel that goes over you with a hood and I've also got just a normal towel to stand on. I've got a couple spare items of clothes in here. I've got one of these fiber towels because once we've finished using the equipment, we have to dunk it and soak it and we have to dry it off. Um, they usually would let us use their towels, but because of coronavirus, we have to provide our own. I've got a bunch of food to keep me going. I've got some of these rice cakes. I've got some nuts. I've got some fudge. We've got a whole punnet of grapes, and I've also got an apple. I'm taking two bottles of water with me because last time I went diving, I only took one and I drank the whole thing because I was really exhausted. And it was actually quite sunny and quite warm. And today it's quite sunny, so I have a feeling I'm going to get really warm with all my gear on. Also, diving is actually quite exhausting, especially at Silver Steps. I'll see if I can get some footage of that, actually. When you come out of the water and you don't realise how heavy everything is on you, divers know how that feels, especially if you're a new diver and you're not used to it. Uh, so yeah, two bottles of water. Got some gloves, my mask and my snorkel. Got my own fins, and I've also got my dive boots. I've just shoved everything in a Sainsbury's bag at the moment because I don't have a proper bag. I'm gonna try and buy a sports bag at some point. I just haven't had the time to at this moment in time. So I'm just gonna finish my breakfast and then I'm gonna go up to campus. So I've got to say you have to provide yourself with some batteries. So I've got these rechargeable energizer batteries. These go in the strobes. In first year, you only use one strobe and then in second year, you use two strobes. So you'll need double the amount of batteries. If you don't know what strobes are, they are the lights that go on the camera. This is my camera all set up. I've got my strobe on here. It's all ready. I've just dunked it. Good to go. It is so beautiful this morning. Look at that. It's another beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. The sun is up. You don't know the words. <laughs> I don't know the words either. I'm so sad I can't zoom in on this. Why'd you choose like, why'd you do it like that? I'm like, sorting all of this out. <laughs> so I'm all ready and raring to go. I'm just setting up my GoPro and then we're going to get in the water. very cold. <laughs> back from my dive I only did one dive I to a double dive but the conditions changed after we dive the surge under the water was really really bad and it was becoming quite hard to take photos and the visibility wasn't great after that we went back to unit 7 we washed off the cameras as soon as I got back I hopped in the shower and I rinsed off all of my kit my fins my boots that kind of stuff and now I'm just about to go through my photos So 
so I transferred 13 photos to my phone from my Mac. Um, I do all my editing on Lightroom but I do it all on my phone just because my Mac seems to not like doing it for some reason. When I was in the water I was taking photos of my bubbles as I was like breathing out and the bubbles were going to the surface and I kind of really like these photos. Um, yeah I don't even think they need editing in my opinion. I really love them. I think they look so cool. Got a couple of some snake locks. I did find a starfish. It was a massive starfish. It was about this big. This is like the only okay photo I have of it. I'm not like particularly proud of it. I've seen starfish like this before but I've not photographed one. When I went on my first dive I didn't really find much. I wasn't really happy with my photos either. It was amazing because I actually found so much. I've got a picture of a goby here. Again it's not amazing but it's a start. Then we found a crab. Um, I think this photo is alright. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what it was about this crab. It kind of looks a bit creepy. Like, it was really, really, really in a crack, so it was really, really dark. I could only just see its little red eyes. Um, I actually thought it was going to come for me at one point. I have this picture of a fish that I'm really, really happy with, but I have no idea what it is. But I am so impressed with myself with this photo. Like, I am so happy. In terms of actually finding something interesting, I think this might be my favourite photo I've taken on this dive. But I do really like the ones with the bubbles. I also found some Blu-ray limpets. This isn't an amazing picture. But it was like the best one out of the ones that I got. All the pictures I've taken are in landscape. I didn't take anything portrait. As you can probably tell my editing style is quite warm but saturated. If I was editing these for a magazine or for a company. They wouldn't want me doing that. But obviously it's just my style and how I like the photo to look. It literally just makes me so happy. I am so proud of myself. This was my second dive with a camera. And honestly, the photos from two weeks ago compared to now are just completely insane. So I am super, super excited to see how much further I come from this point, I guess. Uh, I'm still really gutted that they've cancelled the Red Sea trip. I was so looking forward to going to the Red Sea and taking amazing pictures but obviously it looks like that's not happening it will be a miracle if i get to go to the red sea next year it really will be or anywhere in actual fact <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video i really hope you liked it really hope you enjoyed it and i really hope that this will help you guys um i'm assuming most people that are watching this are going to be mnhp students or are mnhp students obviously my photos aren't the best photos ever. I am just very proud since this is like my second time doing the underwater photography side of it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and have a good week.